Hello lovely people. I know it has been a minute and these videos are coming in sporadically at best. Thank you for everyone who has been commenting and liking and stuff. My work has been slammed as of, re as of recently with my day job. It's just been non-stop on that front. And so it was like, well, what something had to give. And so it was the videos on the YouTube because the other thing pays my bills. And just finding like the time, especially with your mental health and everything, it's like, I just need more time for me and wellness and good stuff. But I'm, I need a break from the YouTubes. So did that. Hopefully now everything should be winding down again. More videos will be coming out on a more regular basis, especially as we're winding up for YouTuber. So. But onto the part of this video that is in the actual title, which is it has been almost over three years now since I became a witch. I think it's a good time to do a little bit of a review. Don't you agree, boo-boo? Several things I just noticed in general that have kind of grown and changed since the start of my journey. Number one is I don't have so much, I guess, hesitation with day-to-day uh, -day magic uh, anymore. I used to overthink a lot of my spells and I think that that actually did a lot to hinder them. Like I had a little too much doubt in the details when really I just needed to sit down and do the damn thing. Um, just sit at my altar, just do the meditation, light the damn candle, etc. and so forth. And so I've now just gained confidence and I think you just get that with, you know, picking up stuff, the more you do it, the more comfy it is. I definitely just, oh, I wanna do the thing, I bless it. Oh, I wanna make a talisman, I do so. I want to put a certain charm on a certain thing or do a certain ritual, I kinda just do it. It's a lot less, there's some thought, of course, that goes into all of them, but they're not as, I guess, nitpicky in a sense. Just cause like, I now know what I like and I know what works well for me. Number two is some of the types of magic and spells that I do more recently. Less to do with a full on candle magic or stuff with my cauldron and shifted way more towards basic charms and a lot of kitchen witchery. I do so many blessings, especially since quarantine started. I'm sure everyone and their mother, we all know, everyone got into bacon, everyone started cooking more. When I felt the urge to do that, and I've kind of wanted to like learn a couple more recipes for a long time, and getting magical in the kitchen is definitely something that makes it way more fun for me. I set a whole mood, I let some incense, I look into the magical association of the herbs I use on the regular, things like that. And that has definitely become a way bigger staple. Um, I bless my coffee every morning before I drink it, sometimes with different things. I definitely am blessing more of my food, especially when it's a baked good. I don't know what it is about baked goods, but something about like the whole like structured measurement and process of it feels way more spell-like to me, I guess. I don't know, kitchen witching for me used to be way more of a thing that I did on the Sabbaths. Like it was with the wheel of the year, more important occasion things, whereas now it seems to be almost an everyday magic occurrence for me. Number three, kind of building off of that, is the balance between big full on rituals versus small quick magic. I felt like at the very beginning it was all big ritual and then it slowly switched to all like quick magic and I've definitely come into a balance between the two now. I definitely have those times when I do a full on thing, it's very thought out, very prepped, but there's also just as many times as I go for a quick little thing. And a lot of times what ends up happening is I almost go and reach for the quick magic and then as I'm doing the quick magic, I was like, you know what, this is a nice starter to this, as a little like spark to get the fire going of the energy, I guess. But I want to do something a little more intense, a little more thought out. So. And then I'll sit down and I'll plan out and I'll do that. And it's very just with my intuition of what goes best uh, in the moment. But I definitely have balanced out the idea of like doing a whole in-depth big thing and also tapping into those little everyday small quick magical occurrences that I think also feed into my magic very, very well. Uh, number, are we on four or five? I've lost count at this point. But another thing that I have definitely done more so is my meditations. I definitely do a lot of meditative walks still uh same as when i was starting out my craft and my journey i definitely do 
more like sitting down meditations. I've done a lot of just meditating and every time I feel something, I give it up to the universe in the year 2020. That has been a big one. But as a, before my meditations were more of in search of things. They were very geared toward uh, experiences, deity, um, tapping into the astral, things of this nature. And now it's much more of a cleansing and like an exert of my energy. It's me feeling all the negativity and the energy and the thoughts and then like releasing it out to the universe being like, take this, no more. Those are more where it's geared towards. And then the, I guess, inquisitiveness that comes um i kind of lead more to my journaling practice you know just like intuitive journaling and a mix of divination especially because the dreams have been weird so i've been journaling a lot of my dreams and then seeing what comes up with that but the meditations is more towards a expulsion of stuff uh for i could say the last year as opposed to real like sit down and try to like receive a message from the divine and I think the last one I will talk about that has changed most in my journey is the allowance of doubt and how much doubt I had because I thought that I was going to continually have a lot of doubt throughout my journey and I still think to this day feel that doubt is very very important. I don't think we should have blind trust in anything. I think it's always good to question ourselves, the universe at large, and those questions are important to have. But to over question and to over doubt and to over, I think it's the over analyzing thing, you know, it's, it's like almost like you're, you're hoping and praying and until you see the thing that's wrong with a thing, you won't stop. And so of course it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? There's gotta be something wrong here. There's gotta be something off about this. I have to be doubting this for a reason. And sometimes that is true uh, with instincts and you know if you're questioning something and you really need an answer to it yes I still listen to my intuition I let my questions linger but I am not actively searching out what is wrong or weird or twisted or like you know just seems off about something I'm not constantly trying to find the bad even when possibly there isn't none I have a lot more trust in the spiritual experiences that I have, in some of things being signs, or in the fact that my idea of, do you really need to scratch the scratching post right next to me now? Okay. <laughs> I have a lot more trust, I guess, in myself and knowing my intuition and knowing that if there is something wrong, then I don't necessarily have to peel back every single layer of something that my intuition will kick up, you know, the universe will give me a bit of a sign. It eventually will come to light if there is an issue, but I don't necessarily have to hunt it down with such like vigor in order for that thing to be found. It will unveil itself in time. It's less of if it's too good to be true, it's some things are that good to be true. Some things just make sense and line up and, you know, work itself out and I think that is very interesting where it's just, I think it's also just a level of, again, like I said earlier, you trust yourself more. You know what you like, you know what you don't like, you've played with a bunch of stuff and you begin to just, you know, I think find your place amongst it all. Now, of course, three years is nowhere near a huge amount of study. It is or a practice, and I love that it's, it's witchcraft, it's a craft, you know, a spiritual practice, you practice it, it's constant, it's always changing, always learning, always something else to take on, to learn about me, the universe, energies, some other thing of the occult. But it is nice now to kind of feel like, oh, I was such a, a baby witch, I guess, in the beginning. Now, having a little more of a firmer grasp of the practical knowledge from my own practice just has... I'm quite enjoying it, coming into this next phase of all that stuff. So anyway, what are some of the things that for you guys have changed uh, from the beginning of your practice to say now? Do you find you practice entirely differently? Are there certain aspects you've entirely discarded versus um, new things you've taken on? Do you feel like you were horribly wrong about some things and then totally correct about others? Or, you know, has it kind of been actually par for the course for you? Just very like, yeah, it's been a steady trajectory kind of just keep doing the thing and chugging along. Anyway, new videos will now be coming out on a more regular basis, I promise. So I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.